Okay, we're back. We're back with AMS 2. Um, right, this is not a comparison, uh, but what I am going to do is uh, take the DTMs out um, on Brands Hatch, the same as I did on uh, AC. Just, just if anybody uh, wants to compare, you can go and look at that and look at this. Um, but anyway, we're running um, the soon to be released, the mod version from Fred of the Audi V8 Quattro DTM, um, which is four wheel drive. And we're running mods and standard DTM cars. Five laps, brands hatch, let's go. Look at that lovely wood effect. <laughs> Okay, one thing I have done is I have turned down the tyre noise. I usually have it on like 95%, uh, which is nearly double what I have everything else on. So you're not going to be hearing screeches and tyre scrubbing. Because I am unusual in the fact that uh, I do use that as an indicator. I'm going to try not to compare, but I am going to compare it. Um, <clears throat> so, aside from running the vanilla AC, and I know it looks an awful lot better with the mods, I'm just going to kind of um, quickly touch on, on this first lap, what I'm finding better, uh, and it's it's the AI. I mean, the handling is perfectly fine. The force feedback's perfectly fine. Not quite as refined as AC with that understeer. That it has, but um, yeah, it's not. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's giving me all the feedback I want curves, undulations and bumps. The big thing for me is immersion, um, because I mean, it's a simulator, it's simulating motor racing. So yeah, this has better immersion in VR, um, out the box. Uh, it, it, and that's the main thing for me, I've got to, the more I believe I'm in the car, greater the simulation of Clear being right. in a car is if you get me it's not super eye candy or anything it's just that solidity does everything look kind of right is everything moving right is the AI doing what it's supposed to be doing but anyway that was a quick ramble I mean no way do I hate AC or find AMS2 miles ahead of it none of that I was a big AC fan I just got a bit uh, tied up with the uh, all the mods and everything else and the time it took you know when there was an update and then I'd spent an hour or two going through settings trying to get the VR running silky smooth once again on your left uh, but the uh, for single player, I mean AMS2, the AI is just something else, it really is. Multiplayer, yeah, a lot to be desired. A lot to be desired. But the, uh, the single player experience is uh, really, 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 really something else. So let's talk about this car and I will leave a link in the description to where you can get all of these mod cars from. Um, it is a heavy old beast, it's four wheel drive, it's an Audi, so yeah, you've got to shove that front end in and the, uh, the kind of the slip angle as you get the power on and things start moving around is very neutral. These guys back themselves up and try and take advantage. 
keeping it tight, tight as I can. Get to the back of here. He's getting backed up by the Sierra. Yeah, that's it's it's things like this that kind of nail it for me. Somebody's crash gone off on the inside there. Let's get back to up down to second. And we're up behind the Nissan. I don't know why I'm talking like that because I'm sitting in a seat. There's no G forces being extruded on me. Uh, it's the immersion man. <laughs> I was still at second from Charlie there. Use the uh, the grip of the four wheel drive just to punch out. Taking little bites on that front end as the front end scrubbing away. We're halfway home. Fuel looks okay. 13th place, two to go. Dropping to third. Dropping in. Just got that little unsettled by the curve on the inside. Just pushed me a little wide. Down to first. Why not? Alright, no Try and keep it tight. Back end stepping out a little bit there, but. Down to second, little rev on the downshift. Use all the track and then a bit more just to maximise my exit speed. This is just an absolute, uh, yeah, won't swear. Can I get around the outside? No. No, everybody's getting a bit touring cars. Running the AI at 100 and medium. Change to third. Give that Sierra a tap. Shove him out of the way. Go to the inside. Didn't touch him. He just Clear went left. for the uh, extreme option. Thank you, Jim. Oh my God! Clear left. On your right. Is this lap five? Right. I am scheduled to. Uh, have an ultimate crash on lap five, was it? Oh, I was lap four. Oh, okay. Does that counter? Does that counteract the uh, lap five nightmare? I can they expect another one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Four wheel drive drift there, and absolutely have to hammer it in. Second, second. Right. Playing with that four wheel drive. Left side. Still there. Hold your line. <laughs> Come on. Clear left. Straight shift to second, just get that back to step out and that's front just to tuck in. I think that was the car that I walloped when the other Audi went uh, a bit sideways. Looking at the back rear quarter on the right. Going up the inside, come on, grip, grip, got it. Right, is anybody else going to lose it round here? Not far enough. Big Nissan switching to the inside, covering it. Saw me coming. On your left. And we are. Whoa! Sierra breaking early to tuck in there. Down the left, racing the Nissan to the line. Come on, Audi. Off the limiter over the line. Well done, mate. Good finish. So yeah, it's all um, a lot more frantic, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's uh, less kind of, yeah, just that franticness about things going on, which it kind of takes from Project Cars 2, that had it with its exaggerated force feedback, but the AI gives you such a good race in this that that's where the franticness comes from, which just adds to that 
bit of the excitement, fun. It's a game. It's not an exercise. But anyway, this was not, I repeat, not a dig at AC. Big fan of AC, have been for years. Looking forward to AC Evo. Uh, but AMS 2, at this present time, and for quite a while, has been my uh, sim of choice. Gets the old heart rate pumping and a bit of sweat going. Right. Adios.